Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm leading you through a 45 minute full body workout. There's no equipment needed and there is a full warm up and full cool down included. So you don't need to go anywhere else. Just make sure you have something soft beneath you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, beginning with our warm up, starting off with our necks. Feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna turn the head from side to side. Make sure you press those shoulders down. Good, up and down. Good. We're gonna squeeze those shoulders up to our ears and roll them down the back. And forwards. Good, rolling our ankle, starting with the right foot, we're gonna roll it outwards. Good, and inwards. Good, left foot, rolling it outwards. And roll it inwards. Good, we're gonna step the feet nice and wide. And we're gonna reach those arms all the way back. Nice big circles, warming up those shoulders. Good, circle them forwards. Good, we're gonna open the arms all the way and then you're gonna swing them across and try and tap those shoulder blades. So stretching the chest. Good, we're gonna head down to the ground into a tabletop position. Doing some cat and cows, so drawing the belly button down towards the mat, arching the back, gaze goes up. And then pressing the floor away, drawing that belly button up towards the ceiling. Good, neutral spine, using that right arm, opening the chest up, and then we're gonna thread it through. Good, left side. Good, 
Good, both hands down on the mat. You're gonna step the feet back into a high plank. From here, you're gonna bend the knees, push back, keeping the arms straight, stretching the shoulders, and then bring it back down into plank. Good, we are going to sit on our bums, legs bent at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna drop the knees from side to side. You'll feel that stretch in the top hip. Good, we're gonna stand it up. Continuing to warm up the hips, drawing big half circles, bringing the knees to your chest. Good, step those feet out wide. Sending the hips around in a circle, stretching the hip flexors at the front, slight bend in the knees and stretching the hamstrings at the back. Try and come to a flat back as you send the hips backwards. Good, switch directions. Good. You can set the feet maybe just a touch wider, arms out to the side. We're gonna reach for opposite toes. Again, keeping a slight bend in your knees, feeling the stretch in those hamstrings. We're hinging at the hips. Good, standing it up, we are going to continue stretching out those hamstrings, reaching for opposite toe. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible. Good, switching sides. Quick warm up, we're taking a 45 second rest. Today's workout is going to be in supersets, so two exercises at a time. We repeat each superset twice before we move on. Your first exercise is a reverse lunge with a pulse. You're gonna choose a side, you're gonna do one side for the first round, and then we'll do the other side on round two. So you're gonna step back into your lunge, making sure we're keeping this a shorter lunge. We're not stepping all the way out here. Coming down, body's angled slightly forward. This glute is the hinge point. We're gonna pulse at the bottom and come up. Down, pulse, and up. That is your first exercise. Here we go. So think about that supporting heel. Drive that down into the floor. Press the floor away as you stand up. Good. Exercise two, you're gonna rise up on those toes, and then as you come down, you're gonna reach for opposite toe, hinging at the hips, knees are bent, coming up and over.
So think about your core while you're doing this. That will help with your balance. Stretch those legs as you come up on those toes. Good, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side now with those reverse lunge pulses. So make sure you're switching legs. Couple more. Nice job. Give that leg a shake. Going back into our rises with the toe touch. Make this rise nice and explosive. Make it quick. Try to find your balance at the top. Job. Moving on to our next superset. First exercise is a good morning to a squat. So feet in squat stance, fingertips by the ears. You're gonna have a slight bend in your knees, hinge at the hips, nice flat back. Use those glutes coming up, knees still bent, coming down into a squat and up, keep the chest lifted. Down and squat. So you should be feeling those glutes turn on as you stand up. Still squeezing those glutes even though the knees are bent. Down into your squat all the way down. Job. Exercise two, you're in a high plank. You're gonna step the feet in and step the feet out. So one foot at a time, step it in, in, out, out. Nice and simple, here we go. Keep that back nice and straight. Good work. Doing that once again. So, feet in squat stance. 
Knees have a slight bend. Really make sure you're hinging here at the hips. Send those hips backwards. job down to the ground make sure you're switching the foot that you step in with first if that's too much for your brain to handle don't worry about it but let's try and keep it even on both sides Nice job, on your backs. You're going to do a glute bridge. And at the top of your glute bridge, holding the hips where they are, do not let them drop. You're gonna bring one leg in at a time. So take this slow if you have to. Down, up, hold it, knee, control, knee, Control, keep those hips lifted and control down. Good. Second exercise, staying down here. Legs are up, we're gonna do some scissor abs. So you can either hold a crunch position here, dropping one leg at a time. You can have your hands up, or to increase the intensity, you can add a twist. If you need to modify, you can do this with the head down, and you can also do this with your legs bent, tapping the heel to the floor. Just make sure your back is pressed into the floor. Good, take a breather down here. Getting ready for those glute bridges. Take these slow. Don't let those hips drop, keep them pressed.
Good, quick breather down here, getting ready for some abs. Come lay down over here. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do some push-ups for our next exercise. You can do these on your knees, on your toes. You could also do a half push-up, which looks like this on your knees. You're gonna lower your down, lower yourself down nice and slow. Hover, let it go at the bottom, belly drops, and then press it up. Try to keep those elbows tucked. Don't let those elbows flare out in this push-up. Keep them close to your body. Job. Give those arms a shake. We're gonna come into a high plank next and we're gonna do some side crunches. So you're gonna bring your knee, same knee to same elbow, and you're gonna try and keep your upper body nice and still. So in this high plank, everything's straight. Control, bring the knee in and back to center. deserved a quick rest. She just thinks she owns the space. Just your head on the mat and you lay right in the middle, eh? We're gonna come into push-ups. Here we go, round two. Keep that body nice and straight. Don't forget about your core here. Keep it engaged. Quick rest. Here we go, spider crunches or plank with a side crunch. Keep everything super still here. Take them nice and slow if you have to. If your wrists are bothering you, you can come down here on your forearms. Do the same thing, but try not to pike your bum up in the air as you're doing this. Keep that bum down.
Nice job. On our backs, we are going to do some more abs. Legs are gonna be in a tabletop position. So bent at 90 degrees, and we are going to reach across the body, reaching towards the back corner and back down. So keep everything still here. Press that low back into the floor and then lift those shoulder blades up. Nice job. Coming up into a reverse bridge position, you're gonna do two tricep dips. One, two. And then from here, you're going to tap opposite knee. If your wrists are bothering you, sit the bum down, tap for the knee, reach for the toe, like this. And then prop it up. Two dips all the way down. Use those triceps sitting into the heels of your hands. Then you can put the bum down, reach for opposite toe. Nice job, back on your back. Legs come up. Make sure that that core is turned on already. So actively pressing the back into the floor, then twisting, getting both shoulder blades up off the floor. Tricep dips. Here we go, lift that bum up. Sitting into the heels of your hands, really squeeze those triceps. Then use that core, find your balance. Next up, you're gonna do a squat. And as you come up from your squat, you're gonna reach opposite elbow for knee. Here we go. So making sure we're coming all the way down in our squat, fingertips by the ears, chest is lifted. As we come up, bring that knee in front of you, reach the elbow. You're the anecdote Losing sleep I'm into 
nice job. Next up, we're gonna do a step jack. Arms come out to the side, step it in, they come up to the front. If you would like to add some jumping into this routine, I know this is a no jumping routine, you could do this with the jump. Here we go. Nice job, repeating those two again. I really want you to feel this crunch. So if that means you have to come all the way up from your squat and then lift the knee, you can take these slow. Think about reaching that knee up in front of you and then reaching that elbow towards the knee so you're really feeling that crunch. Exhale as you crunch. Nice job, going into our step jacks. Try and keep the pace high with this one. Don't forget about your core, keep that tight. Nice, strong arms. Nice job. One more super set to go. First exercise, you're going to do a curtsy lunge, choose a side, same thing, second round we'll do the other side. You're gonna do a curtsy lunge, so leg comes back in a diagonal, you're gonna push through and bring that knee up using that core, finding the balance. So down and up. Keep this supporting leg grounded, press the ground away as you stand up sitting into your heel, squeeze that glute at the top. Good. Second exercise, you're gonna rise up. Let's be in a squat stance. Up, legs are straight all the way up on your toes, and then you're gonna come down. Fingertips touch the mat, heels flat on the floor. Here we go. This is nice and explosive. Reach those arms all the way up. Use that core to stand yourself up.
Nice job. We're gonna do the other side with those lunges. Here we go, all the way down. Ground this foot, find that position. Use that core to lift the knee. Good, last exercise. Rising up and down. Try to pick up the pace here. Trying to get that heart rate up. Here we go. Come all the way down, heels on the floor. Think about that core as you stand up. job we have a burnout that's why I've been smiling it's because I know in the back of my head we have a burnout on the ground we're doing 30 seconds on 30 seconds off and we're doing mountain climbers I know you all love me right now let's go 30 seconds even if you have to do these slow just don't stop moving for 30 seconds you can do it Nice job, see if you get a 30 second rest. It wasn't that bad. We're gonna do that once again. And then we're actually done, I promise. Try and slow down your breathing here. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Don't stop. You got this. Knees to your chest. A few more seconds, keep going. Whew. Nice job. Let's push it back into child's pose and catch our breath here for a little bit. Take some deep breaths. Good, rock it forward, knees bent. We're gonna push back into a puppy pose, so reach those fingertips forward. Stretching out those shoulders. Good. rolling through the spine. We're gonna come forward into a cobra pose, 
Press those shoulders down, let those hips sink deep down into the mat. Good, we're gonna roll through that spine back into a child's pose. Widen those knees. This time you can reach the hands from side to side, stretching out either side. Take some deep breaths into that side. And moving through center to the other side. Good, we're gonna come up through tabletop and you're going to bring your right leg through into a lunge, hands on either side, back leg is bent. Find this lunge position, then prop yourself up on that knee, pressing the hips forward so you're feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. And from here, hands on either side of the foot, you're going to sit back into that back leg, stretching the front leg, flexing the front foot. So you're stretching out that hamstring. Pull this hip back around. Good, moving through this lunge position, sweep that leg around. We're gonna bring the left leg through this time into that lunge position. And coming up on your knee. on either side of the foot, pressing back into the back leg, stretching that front leg, flexing the foot. Good, coming forward, sweep that leg behind, sitting on your bum. Stretching both legs out in front of you, you're gonna cross the right leg over top of the left, bring that in close to your chest. Sitting up nice and tall and twisting, drive this right hip down into the floor. Good, release. Crossing left over right this time, sit up nice and tall, knee into the chest and twist. Good, release that leg. You can do the next portion of this standing or on your knees. We're gonna stretch out those shoulders. So bring that right arm across.
Good, swing those arms out a couple times and bring the left arm across. Good, swing those arms out. Last little cool down exercise, we're going to reach it up and over, stretching out the sides. If you're standing, you're just doing the same thing. Take a nice deep breath into that side. And coming through center, other side. Good. Hands down on the mat, tuck those toes under and slowly roll yourself up. And that is it guys, great job. I hope you enjoyed this full 45 minute full body workout with no equipment. If you did, you wanna see more of this style and this length, please let me know by leaving me a comment down below and giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today and I will see you guys next time, bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description, and I will see you guys inside the app.